Jessica, what I want to do is examine the lymph nodes in your head and your neck. Have you had any colds or felt any swelling in your neck at all? No. Okay. What I'm going to do is turn you to face me so that, um, you know, so that you can see I'll do it on both sides of your head and neck at the same time. The first lymph nodes I want to feel are the preauricular lymph nodes, which we find just in front of the ear. The postauricular lymph nodes are just behind the ear. The occipital lymph nodes are at the posterior base of the skull on either side. Frequently in children under the age of two will find that these are enlarged and that is normal for them. The tonsillar lymph nodes are at the angle of the mandible, just on the anterior edge of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which runs along here. Um, so if you had tonsillitis or enlarged tonsils, perhaps we would feel tonsillar nodes there. The submandibular lymph nodes are just on the medial border of the mandible, and the submental lymph node is just at the very tip of the mandible. And then we move down, and those are the lymph nodes in your, really in your head, and we move down into your neck, and the first ones that we want to feel for, you have the sternocleidomastoid muscle here, and you have the trapezius muscle here, and we just want to feel uh, the superficial cervical nodes, which are just superficial to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. And then we want to feel the posterior cervical nodes, which are going to be posterior to the sternocleidomastoid muscle and yet anterior to the trapezius muscle to see if we feel any lymph nodes there. The deep cervical chain, which is also down here, is deep within and around this sternocleidomastoid muscle. So we usually palpate a little bit deeper to try to feel those lymph nodes. And the last lymph nodes to feel would be the supraclavicular nodes. That's good. You can see you've had this done before. And I just feel here it's between the clavicle and the sternocleidomastoid muscle. And that's it.